Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So back in my favorite training spot, the yoga studio. And today I'm just gonna be going through a juggling session, a 1000 touch juggling workout. So this is something I like to do on those days where we've had an intense day of team training. So I don't wanna to put too much on the legs in my own individual sessions. So this is perfect. Just getting some touches on the ball, staying in one place, working on my aerial control. So this is something you can do at home. You don't need much space whatsoever. The juggling session is gonna be really simple, just very basic exercises. You don't need to be really advanced in juggling. But that's something I would recommend every player to master is juggling. So I get a lot of questions asking me, do you need to be able to juggle to be a pro? And although not, it's not a requirement to be a good juggler in a pro team, it's not like they ask you, you've got to do 100 juggles or 1000 juggles before we sign you. I guarantee that every single professional player around the world can at least juggle the ball, have good control with multiple different surface areas of the body, keeping the ball up in the air because it's just something that you need to master. Instead of thinking it like juggling, think of it as aerial mastery, controlling the ball in the air. So this is something I recommend to all my players. Every time you get in touches on the ball, it's never a waste of time. So if you can juggle, if you can do some ball mastery, just do whatever you can in the space you have available to you. And you're gonna become a better player because you're just gonna grow in confidence on the ball. So with all that to say, we're gonna get into the 1000 touch juggling workout. But before we do that, because I know I'm sure a few of you guys out there maybe don't know how to juggle or you're still practicing. So I wanna give you guys a few tips to help improve your basic juggling. If you already know how to juggle and you're comfortable with it, just skip ahead to the workout. But let's get into the juggling tutorial. So when it comes to basic juggling, this is what you're trying to achieve, being able to juggle the ball below waist height, alternating from right to left and staying in the same spot. So here's a few tips for you. First is body positioning. You wanna keep your chest slightly over the ball and your knees slightly bent so you have a low center of gravity. This is gonna help you with your balance so you're not chasing the ball all over the room. You wanna lift your toes slightly to create a flat surface on the top of your foot and then strike through the middle of the ball, right underneath it, so it pops directly up in the air. If you hit too far forward, it's gonna come into you just like that. And if you hit too far behind, it's just gonna get away from you. So make sure you've got rhythmic juggling, hitting directly through the middle. If you could draw a line right from the top to the bottom of the ball, you wanna hit that exact spot underneath so it pops directly up in the air. A little bit of backspin is okay, but you really wanna try and pop up in the air and get rhythmic juggling going from right to left, being able to alternate feet. So with that in mind, let's get into the first exercise of our 1000 touch workout. It's just simple alternating juggles, going from right to left for 100 touches. The second exercise, we're doing single leg juggles with our right foot only. So we're gonna take a step in between each contact. So we kick it up, put our foot down, and then we continue this for 100 touches.
And for exercise three, you guessed it, it's single leg juggles with our left foot only. Again, just trying to get good clean contacts for 100 juggles. For exercise four, we're hopping on our left foot and juggling with our right. So as you can see, our right foot is off the ground the entire time. So this is really gonna challenge your balance once again for a hundred touches. For exercise five, we're doing the same thing, but this time we're hopping on our right foot and we're juggling the ball with our left. Try and get in a rhythm with this one and then go for a hundred touches. Exercise six, we're alternating two touch. So we're gonna step between each juggle, two on our right foot, and then we alternate and go two on our left foot until we reach 100 touches. For exercise seven, we're alternating two touches again, but this time we're hopping. So our foot doesn't touch the ground between juggles, and then we transfer feet and repeat on the opposite side until we've got 100 touches.
For exercise eight, we're following a one, one, two pattern. So we juggle once on one foot, once on the opposite foot, and then as we transfer the ball again, it's then two juggles, then back down to one, one, two. Again, count in your head until you reach 100 touches. And for exercise nine, we're following a one, one, two, two pattern. So one juggle on one foot, one juggle on the opposite foot, and then it's two on the opposite foot, transfer again, and then another two. Then we go back down to one on each foot and repeat this pattern until we've reached 100 touches. And for exercise 10, we're doing counting juggles. So we're counting upwards to begin with, so one on each foot to two on each foot, and so on and so forth until we've gotten 10 on each side. Then optionally, you can count backwards from 10 back down to one. So there we have it, that's the juggling workout for you. As you can see, you've got a decent sweat, but it's not very demanding on the legs. So perfect for those days if you have an intense day of training with your team or an individual session and you still wanna get those extra touches. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And for those of you who are still pretty early in your juggling journey, I really hope those tips at the beginning helped you. Remember, take it slowly. Even if you have to start by dropping the ball out of your hands and kicking it back up and then progressing to dropping it on the ground and bouncing it back up with your feet, Take it slowly, the best way to progress is one step at a time. So just be comfortable where you're at and try to improve day by day and you'll master juggling eventually. But I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you smash the like button, hit that subscribe button for weekly training videos and I'll see you guys in my next video.